All right, gang, welcome. This is Lori with Fly Dog Fitness. I am ready to provide your workout for the day today. Um, it is a little darker uh, behind me. I'm not used to this um, time of class, but hopefully y'all can see well enough so I'm not having to turn on some bright lights. But we're going to get warmed up here. I'm going to set our warm-up timer for five minutes. Those of you um, who may want to opt to run instead of uh, doing the warm-up here with me, that's up to you. But five minutes, um, just jump in with us when you get back. And we'll get you guys warm, get you rolling today. So give yourself some space. And let's just start us off with some nice, easy skaters. You don't have to count them. Just get it moving. Take that back leg through. Think about tight core. Try to wake everything up this morning. All right, let's come into a jog in place. Nice and easy. If you have the space for it, let's jog up a couple paces and then back a couple paces. So kind of a forward and then backward jog. Good, come back into place, pull those knees up a little bit higher. Now, if you have the space to it, go a little bit to the right and then a little back to the left. Just a couple paces. All right, we'll slow it back down. 10 body weight squats. Nice deep squats. When you're done, go ahead and cross your arms at your chest. We're gonna do what we call a, a good morning. You're just gonna be shoulder width apart, slight bend in the knees. You're gonna come forward, push that booty back, stand all the way up. You don't have to count these necessarily, but again, push that weight back. Go until you get a nice flat back. And then up. Couple more here. Last one for me. And we'll take it back up, 20 jumping jacks. All right, when you're done, I want you to pull one knee up to your chest, nice and high. A couple seconds hold there and then stride it out into a lunge. Then back to place, other side. Get that stretch up. Nice long lunge. Pause in your lunge as well, guys. And then keep on alternating. Get a couple here on each side. Working that balance already this morning. Got to tighten that core. Gonna go one more on each side. You guys make sure and get yourselves evened up. All right, let's get those mats out. Be ready for our walkout push up time. Walk down, first one, anywhere between two and five push ups at the bottom. Walk back up. On the second one, I want you to do somewhere between two and five high to low planks. All right. So, first walkout is push ups, second walkout is high to lows. And then after that, you can just continue with whatever you'd like. 
on those walkouts. We'll go about a minute here. Good guys, finish one last walkout, whichever one you're on. Have a seat. We'll finish our warm up out with 10 fly sit ups. So have a seat, dive in those legs, reach up to the sky, and push forward. As you get your 10, come up to standing and just give me a side lunge stretch for a couple seconds on each side. And while you're doing that, I'll talk to you about our first step here. So again, as you finish, come into a side lunge, stretch and hold for a couple seconds and then alternate. And I'll begin to talk about step number one. All right, so we're gonna be doing some combo to exercises today, guys, because you know I get bored um, with just regular exercises by themselves sometimes. So we're gonna combo them and we're actually gonna do them and we're gonna increase one of the two comboed exercises, whereas the other one will stay as our base. So let me give you an example. We're gonna do our Squat Jack Mary Catherine's, but when we do them, each round we're gonna increase the Squat Jack. So for example, you know our traditional one is your Squat Jack Mary Catherine Mary Catherine, but when we get to that round two, after the second exercise, we're gonna go two squat jacks and then just keep your same Mary Catherine, Mary Catherine. So it would look like this, squat jack, squat jack, but then only one Mary Catherine. Again, round three would be three squat jacks and just your Mary Catherine, okay? So that's the structure for the first part of it. The second part of it is called a mountain climber plank jack, all right? You do one mountain climber on each leg, then you do one plank jack and that equals one. So it looks like this. Let me just show you real quickly. Mount climber coming up nice and high. So it's mount climber, mount climber, then it's plank jack. On the second one, I decided to increase the plank jacks instead of the mountain climber. You're gonna go mount climber, mount climber, plank jack, plank jack. All right? So the trick here is that we're gonna go back and forth. So we're starting with our one squat jack, one Mary Catherine. Then you're gonna kick it over to your mountain climber, plank jack. Then round two, you're gonna do your two squat jacks, Mary Catherine, then your mountain climber, two plank jacks. And it's just gonna keep increasing like that, literally one up until basically an AMRAP, as many rounds as possible, and we're gonna go for six minutes, okay? So hopefully you follow the structure there. Could be a little bit confusing, but really I just wanted something different than just doing the same amount of reps, same exercises over and over. So six minute AMRAP, nobody has to worry about how many um, how high we get. So squat jack, Mary Catherine to start, then mountain climber, plank jack. Again, round two, we increase the squat jacks, we increase the plank jacks. Ready, set, timer's going, here we go. So lots of transitioning on this first one. Mountain climber, mountain climber, plank jack. All right, we're back up for two squat jacks, but just one Mary Catherine. Two plank jacks here in round two. Now we're starting threes. I cheated one. Good, keep it going. Some of you getting into your fours. Always increasing your squat jacks, 
always increasing your plank jacks. So that base of Mary Catherine and mountain climber is always only gonna be one on each side. Nice work, guys. Keep it pushing. Getting that heart rate up, hopefully. We've got lots of time here, guys. We're going to be getting up to some good high numbers on these squat jacks and these bike jacks. Nice work, guys. Good stuff. Checking that timer for you. See where we're at. Over halfway now, guys. Hang in there. If you need a quick break, you take it on your own and get back in. Nice work, guys. Y'all got this down to the last two minutes right here. Four down, two to go. Nice work, getting there. Push through it. All right, y'all got this. Come on, big push. Final 35 seconds right here. Don't be afraid to get into a new round. If you are just finishing your mountain climber plank jacks, you can go ahead and rest or go into a chair pose with me until that timer comes off. All 
Nice job. You need to keep moving. You can hold with me. Timer should be going off soon. And rest. All right, good stuff, guys. Nice work, drink break here. If you need it, we'll get into a new set. All right, this next set should be fun. We're gonna be um, basically doing the same structure for this particular one. We're gonna be doing power burpees and the increase is gonna be on the push-ups. So what'll happen is it'll end up being a lot less burpees and a lot more push-ups, which I would actually rather do burpees, but I need to work on my push-ups. So that's what we're gonna increase. So again, we'd be down into our power burpee with one push-up, up and jump. When we get to that second round, you're gonna drop and do two push-ups before you're up and jump in your burpee, okay? Then it will go three push-ups, up and jump, four, and so on. The other one we're gonna do is sit-up get-ups. So we're gonna increase our sit-ups, Get-ups will stay the same. So the first round, you do a full sit-up, up and back, then you do your get-up. When you get to round two, you're gonna go two sit-ups in a row before you do your get-up, okay? So this one should be fairly easy to follow. Power burpees, we're increasing push-ups. Sit-up get-ups, we're increasing sit-ups. Same structure, six-minute AMRAP. You guys are going to work on quality push-ups no matter what, and we're gonna cruise through this and get as many rounds as possible. Six-minute timer's ready to go. Power burpee first, ready, set, go. Increasing those push-ups on round two. Increasing those sit-ups. Make sure to complete that burpee and complete that get up, guys. I know the focus is on the push ups and the sit ups, but don't get sloppy on me, okay? Put that burpee in there. Jump, hop those feet up and jump after your push ups. Nice job, guys, keep pushing. Nice work, halfway already.
Nice job, guys. Keep pushing. As many rounds as we can get. In our final 90 seconds, right here. Nice job. Don't be afraid to start a new round. You can do it. These are a little bit quicker. Final 35 seconds. You got time. Let's go. Bust them out. Nice job. Nice work. Everybody finish out your round of sit-ups and end with that last get-up. Last get-up. Nice work. And rest. That was perfect. Timer just went off. Quick drink break here. Not so bad. All right, let's see if I can confuse you on this next one. We're gonna be doing our skater high skip. So I just want you to look and see what that looks like. Normally I'm just gonna come across like a skater, but then I'm gonna high skip. Then I'm gonna come across the other way, high skip. What we're gonna add is skaters instead of high skips, okay? So when you get to that second round, you'll actually do skater, skater, then skater, high skip, skater, high skip. Then it'll be like skater, 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 high skip. So again, you're just gonna be only doing basically one high skip on the last two skaters that you do, all right? As we increase basically one on each side, then two on each side, then three on each side and so forth, okay? The other one we're gonna do is um, high knees and butt kicks. And on this one, I just wanna increase on both, okay? Just a lot more simple to follow. So when you're, when you're starting your high knees and your butt kicks, you're just going one, two, and then you're going one, two. Then when you go to the next set, you're gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, okay? So you're always gonna increase um, in twos basically on the high knees and the butt kicks because there's not just one there. So we're going skater high skips, high knee butt kicks. We're only increasing the skaters, not the high skips. And on the butt kicks and the high knees, we're gonna increase both, okay? So it'd be like two, four, six, eight, and so on, all right? Doesn't really matter as long as we're moving, we're doing the movements correctly. We're going for six minutes, as many rounds as we can. I'm starting with skater high skip. So the first one is just skater high skip, skater high skip, okay? Timer's going, ready, set, here we go. Big hop across, big high skip. And you go one, two, one, two. Now you're going two skaters across, and then on this one high skip, this one high skip. Then we're going one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Keep it up. Let's go get that heart rate up. Go keep it up. Nice job, guys. Keep it up.
Okay, guys, stay low on those skaters, shoulders back, chin up. Good work, guys. Keep that heart rate up. Should be getting up there over halfway just now. Keep it working. Don't get sloppy on me, on those skaters. Good work, guys. Let me check that timer for you. Down to our final minute, just under a minute. Y'all got this. Come on, hang in there. Keep that heart rate up. I know this is an all cardio, not much strength here, so push it. We'll get into a strength one after this. Come on, big push. Final 40 seconds. All right, guys, finish up 20 seconds here. If you've just finished a round, you can join me in a squat. Till that timer goes off, five seconds. Try to get them all in, finish that round. And rest. All right, good stuff, guys. All right, we've got one more set that will be uh, more total body before we get into a core set um, at the end. So what we're gonna do is what we call a half power burpee. And because we've done our push-up increase, we're not gonna increase on the push-up part we're gonna increase on the up and back part. So if you think about it, it kind of looks like a frog burpee, all right? So I'm gonna show you like round one and round two. Your half power burpee is basically dropping back, push up, and then feet up, feet back. That would be one. So instead of increasing the push ups, we'll always do one push up, right? But then we'll go on round two, up and back, up and back, all right? You'll increase on the hops up and back. Again, it kind of looks like a frog burpee, um, I keep my legs nice and wide. If you want to bring them straight up the middle, that's kind of up to you. The other one we're going to do is called uh, 180 sumo squat jumps, all right? And since we've done a lot of high intensity also, we'll increase on the sumo squat. So round one, 
is just simply full sumo, right? And then squat jump. And when you get to round two, you're gonna do two sumos in a row before you go to your 180 jump, all right? And it would be three sumo squats in a row, 180 jump, and so on. So again, we're increasing the up and back on the half power burpee. We're increasing the sumo squats on the 180 sumo squat jumps. We're going for six minutes here, and then we're gonna finish out with some core today, guys. So don't be afraid to push on this one, all right? Six minute timer ready to roll. Ready, set. Here we go. Clock's running. One push up, one up and back. Then you're up for your one full sumo squat, 180 jump, okay? So again, get that full one and then do your 180. Then you're back down, one push up, two hop up and back. I gotta change something just really tiny on us here, guys. Let's do a 180 front and back. I feel like it just makes more sense to finish where you start, right? So it'll always still just be two 180s, but you'll keep increasing on the squat. So it'll be 180 jump and then 180 back to the start. Just checking to see that you heard me there. Perfect. Does that seem better? Look better to me. Yes. Felt weird ending with my back to you, so I felt like we needed to come around again. Okay, guys, make sure those feet are coming up nice and high um, by your hands so that it's not like a plank jack, right? We want it to be like that frog burpee. So feet are coming up nice and high by those hands. All right, guys, keep it up. My assistant has to join me for a little bit of class today. We've got a rough night. So we're gonna squat. He is appropriately wearing his Fly Dog Fitness shirt this morning. Nice job, guys. Down to two and a half minutes of your six minutes. Keep pushing. Looking forward to core to finish out today. Hang in there. Nice work, good. Still getting those two 180 jumps in at the end of your sumo squats. Still getting that one perfect push up each round, adding those hops up and back. Nice 
Nice job checking that timer for you. 90 seconds. Come on, big push here, you got it. Margie's got an assistant as well. Nice work, guys. Come on, keep it up. Think about your posture in this last minute. Forty five seconds. Finish strong here, guys. Nice job. If you just finished a round, you can hang out here with me in any kind of chair pose you want. Wait on that timer. Should be getting close. And time. Good stuff, guys. Good news on this next part. I'm going to allow you to choose which of the comboed exercises you wanna increase on. So if you think about the first one, we're doing rocker V-ups. So you're gonna do one rocker and one V-up to start, and then you're gonna choose in round two whether you're adding to the rockers or the V-ups, okay? So you're either gonna do two rockers and one V-up and you'll always increase on the rockers, or you'll always do one rocker and increase on the V-ups each round. Your choice, I want you to be able to choose which one you wanna work on. The other exercise is bicycle flat outs. And I think it's gonna make sense to just go ahead and increase on the bicycles. So it'd be bicycle, bicycle, flat out. And then when you get to round two, it's four bicycles and a flat out, then six bicycles and a flat out, okay? So again, rocker V-ups, your choice on how we increase. Bicycle flat outs, we increase on the bicycles. We have five minutes to get this done. I'm gonna set that timer, drop in one minute. Five minute AM wrap up core, ready, set. Here we go. Should start with one rocker, one V up. Then you're going into two bicycles, one flat out. Then when you get to that second round, you're either adding to the rocker or adding to the V up. Trying to figure out how to do this. Yeah, with the baby, this will be good. Get it figured out. <laughs> nice work guys tried to make that first set difficult and as far as what you were going to add whether you were going to add rockers or v-ups try to find a way to breathe here guys See some rocker additions there. Nice job. Definitely adding to those bicycles, keeping that one flat out. Y'all got this, we're almost done today. 
halfway through this set already. Final two and a half minutes right here. Yes, guys, final 90 seconds. Try to breathe. All right, let's finish strong. Final 45 seconds. All right, guys, finish up that set. 10 seconds here. If you're going to go past my timer, you can. And rest. Let me go find out what he's putting in his mouth. Just the leaf. All right, guys, that's a wrap today. Nice work. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed those combo exercises. Um, hopefully, y'all got a total body workout. Nice job.